All right, everybody, today we're taking a look at Canal Mania. So this is the board for Canal Mania. And um, so you have these little uh, delivery goods, and you're going to be delivering these goods between different canals, and these just get placed up in the uh, little delivery spot up here. You're also going to, I'm going to do a three-player game, so I have three different um, players here. Each player, you can't, you're going to take one of their player markers. You can use these, or it also comes with cubes if you want to use cubes. And you're going to take one of each of these and also put it up here in the same place where the goods go. And that's because that's the scoring track. And so as you uh, score points, you're going to be moving your little uh, canal boat through the track. And then uh, each person has different uh, pieces of canal. You have ones, they're curved on one side, straight on the other. So this is an aqueduct tile. So this is a lock tile. And then you just have the regular uh, stretch of canal tile. And then you also have these... Um, tunnel tiles all right and different tiles are used on different terrains these lighter color tiles are used for the lighter color terrain and these um, darker color tiles are used for the darker color terrain if you played any of the uh, like Martin Wallace uh, games or any of the winsome train games or anything like that where you have you know mountain tile versus like land tile there's no forest here but anyway so it takes uh, more effort to get through the darker parts of the, uh, what you call it, terrain there. Uh, you have different cities, different colors, just kind of like in a, you know, Age of Steam or something. And so, uh, whereas in Age of Steam, maybe you have different colored goods you need to get, you know, maybe a yellow good ends up here and you need to get the yellow good from here to any yellow city. It's not like that here, you just have... A single color good um, but the color of the city difference is based uh, it determines where these cubes are placed and how they travel like a cube can't travel from a canal and it can't go through two blue cities or two black cities if this was going to travel like this that would be fine you know provided there was a canal there because it's they're all different color cities even here like this but it couldn't go, you know, from here to here to here to here because it would be traveling through two green cities and you can't do that. It could go here to here to here, all right? Um, so that's just the color cities just determines where the goods start and the travel restrictions. On the scoreboard, you're going to place this little tile depending on how many players are playing, and this is going to trigger the final two rounds, so this is going to get placed on the number 70. And when somebody gets to 70 or goes over the 70 part, um, they will, uh, that'll trigger the final part of the rounds. All right, next you have these different engineer cards here, and they provide different special abilities uh, that you can do. So if you think of um, like Age of Steam or Steam, how uh, at the beginning you auction off different special abilities and then you have that special ability for you the entire turn. It's kind of like that except um, these aren't auctioned off and they can change hands at the beginning of each player's turn and you'll, you'll see what I mean uh, as I play it. But anyway what's going to happen is these engineer cards are just going to get shuffled up and one is going to be given to each player and then the remaining two are going to just be placed face up next to the board and those will be available to take and then so you would just look and see okay the red player is uh, this guy here William Joseph and so it says here the player may use two uh, sorry I'm trying to get the focus here two tunnel cards rather than three to build a tunnel tile alright and so if you're ever going to build a tunnel you need to have um, three cards, and there's different cards, and I'll explain those. But you would need three tunnel tiles to be able to build a tunnel tile through this terrain. So his special ability is you only need two of them. This guy has James Mick 
uh, Brindley. Uh, option to build either a lock or stretch tile when playing a stretch card. Okay, so again, there's these terrain cards, a stretch card, and if you have this special person, when you play a stretch card, instead of building a piece of stretch terrain, you can build uh, a lock terrain instead. And why would you want to do that? Well, points, of course. And this guy here, the engineer, uh, John Rennie, says a player may pick up four build cards rather than three. And you'll see what that means in a minute. And player may pick up a face-up card instead of one drawing. Okay, I'll just explain what his is in a little bit. All right, so each person gets an engineer card. And then each person is going to get this these kind of uh, contracts, they are called uh, junctions, and you're able to connect any two towns um, together. However, uh, the distance between them, the spaces, I think the max is three. It can't be more than three connecting routes between it, if I recall correctly. And these are just kind of uh, contracts you can use, so each player is just going to get one, it's just going to go face down to them and they'll always have that contract available to fulfill at any time that they want and that contract will not count towards your contract limit you're only able to have a max of two contracts at a time but your uh, junction contract will not count towards that limit all right then there are starting contracts and you can tell starting contracts because they are blue all right, and so what's going to happen is um, you're going to place the contracts out on the side of the board. So one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth one will just go on top of the uh, draw deck. And this is the draw deck, and these are the regular contracts, and you can tell they're different because they are in black writing instead of this generic, or not generic, but this blue color. All right, so then this will be the draw stack. This will go on top of it, and that will just go down over there. And so now you have five contracts to choose from. And so the red player is supposed to go first, um, but I am just going to start with the green player because he's up at the top, and it's easier for me just to go down. So the green player would look at all the contracts, and you'd see where they go. So this is Oxford and Gloucester. And so there's a little on the card, it gives you a little region it's in, so the bottom left quadrant, so that's going to be over here, and here's Gloucester, and Oxford is right there, so that would connect from there to there if you choose that contract. Or maybe he wants this uh, Worcester to Gloucester, that goes from here to here, so there's that contract, or Worcester to Birmingham, and... That is, where's Birmingham? Oh, there. That is there. This one is Coventry to Burton. Coventry's here, Burton's there, so that connects between there. And this one is Stoke and Manchester. Stoke is here, Manchester's up there. So those are the regions that they cover. Now, the contracts give you a point value on them. So this is going to be worth five points if you complete this contract. So if I go between this region, I can get, build it, I get five points. And it's basically one, two, three, four spots be between the two cities, but I can build up to five um, regions. So I could go one, two, three, four, five if I wanted to and make it a longer canal. And that just depends on if you want to try and get more points by building it longer. Uh, so he could take this one or whatever. So let's just say he's going to go for it. He's going to take, Blue's going to take this one for five points. Next is uh, the yellow player. He'll take, uh, I don't know, he'll take this one up here, Stoke to Manchester for four points. And then the red player can choose between these two four point contracts or this five point contract. So let's see, Gloucester to Worcester, where was that again? There, that's a pretty basic three 
That's a really basic train. Uh, Coventry to Burton. Coventry, Burton there. Ah, he'll take that one. All right. And then what happens is these last two, they just get placed over here in the contract section. And you can't bring out any new contracts until all of these contracts are gone. So, um, so they won't get into the other ones till later. And then you have your different terrain cards. So for here, this is an example of a stretched terrain, and it just allows you to place a basic piece of ter uh, canal onto the basic lighter color terrain. Building these canals is worth nothing. You don't get any points for doing it. Additionally, you might see stretched terrains that have different color of goods on them. And what that is is you would place goods onto these cities. So here is like a pinkish, purplish color. All right, so if the person chose this card before they put it into their hand, they would place two goods onto two purple cities. So here's like a purple city there, purple city there. This person, they would place two goods on red cities. And then what the white is wild. So if you take this card, you say, you're going to say which color city you want to build on, and then you'll do it. So I could take this card, and then I could look at my contract, let's say, and I see Coventry and Burton, and I could see that um, Coventry is yellow and Burton is red, and I can only pick one color, so I could say yellow. And then I would take two goods, and I'd place one on one yellow city, maybe the one that I'm working on, and then maybe one... I don't know, somewhere up here where nobody is, so that I don't help anyone else out at this moment. So there's those kind of uh, stretch cards. All right, you have locks. So locks are built on the same terrain as the stretch cards are. Um, however, for building a lock, you're going to get one point for each uh, lock you build out on the board. So... These get you nothing, these get you one point. Aqueduct, to build an aqueduct, you need to play two aqueduct cards. And when you play two, you're able to build through the harder to build terrain. And the aqueduct cards get you two points for each piece of that type of canal. Then you have tunnel cards. You need to play three tunnel cards to build a tunnel. Tunnels are also played on the harder to build terrain. And um, it gets you three points for building a tunnel card. And lastly, you have these surveyor cards. The surveyor cards are essentially wild cards. You can use them to replace any other type of terrain card you have. You can't use it to do, you know, like a, a goods terrain. I can't say, oh, this is a stretch terrain with a blue, you know, goods thing. You can't do that. You can make it a stretch terrain, but you can't add the goods feature to it. So those are the different cards. What's gonna happen is these cards are going to just form a um, draw area. So I'll just put them over here by the contract cards, I guess. And you're going to put five of them out there, a la Ticket to Ride style. All right, so those are over there. All right, I believe it's pretty much set up now. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is... Uh, have the first player go, I guess. All right, so um, on your turn, here's a list of the things you can do. All right, let me go over this. All right, so turn action. So first phase, you can take a contract from Parliament. So that just means taking a contract from the area over there. So there's two contracts that haven't been taken, so you can take one of those two contracts if you want. Uh, exchange engineers. So this is where I was talking about um, how in something like Age of Steam or what have you where you auction off the roles. Here you just, you know, you would just look at what all the different roles are. You would see what they do. You'd see if you want to do one of those. And let's say, let's say this person here, he didn't want to do what his was. He wanted to do what this guy's was here. He would just give him his and take his. And then, you know, he would have um, that role. Or he can exchange it with one of the ones over here. He could, if this was his role and he didn't want it and he wanted this one, he would just exchange it there and take that one. 
it's your option to take an um, engineer. All right, if you don't want to take an engineer, um, so, okay, you can take a contract, you can take an engineer. If you don't want to do any of that, you can discard all five of these cards here. All right, so if you know what you're kind of planning on doing and those cards aren't going to help you, you can just wipe the board with them. And if you don't want to do that, you can, for, there's three phases. Instead of doing something in one of these phases, you can do this alternative, and that is draw one card from the top of the build deck. So you could just take the top card, which would be a terrain card, like this, and you, could just, you would just take it into your hand, and, you know, it would be a way of getting another piece of terrain. But you don't know what you're getting. If you happen to do that, and let's say this is the one you took off the top of the deck, and it had a goods uh, image there, it's up to you whether to reveal that you have a goods image or not. You can say, oh, and show it and say, I have this goods image, and you put the goods out there. Or you could say, not say anything, because it wouldn't help you to play some maybe, and so you just put it into your hand. So this player has to choose what to do. So does he want to get a contract? Let's just say no, he doesn't. Does he want to exchange engineers? Well, let's see. Is he going to build? If he's not going to build, the engineer probably isn't going to really matter right now because he doesn't have any cards to build, and engineers just help you build. So then do these cards help him? All right, so he's building from Oxford to Gloucester. So that is Oxford here to here. So he's building on regular terrain, and there's a bunch of regular terrain cards, so that is good for him. And there's ones with different colored goods to go out there, blue and pink or purple, which doesn't help him. Um, so he's going to just use these cards. He could wipe it and hope to get, you know, maybe uh, cards that have the, um, you know, the lock symbol on it, because that would actually get on points for building that kind of terrain, but he's just going to get started. So you get to take three cards. All right, did he do any of these things? He didn't discard. All right, so if he's not going to discard, and if he's not going to exchange en engineers, and if he's not going to take a contract, then he can just take a card blindly off the top, so he'll do that just to get a piece of, you know, a build card. Now he gets to choose three cards. Um, so let's just say he takes these three, he takes the two with the goods on them, plus just a regular one, and he gets to now choose where these goods go, the pink and the blue. So, for pink, he gets to do two, and he knows that this Birmingham is something people are building to right now, and he's not, so he's going to do this pinkish ones down here, and for blue, he knows nobody, these aren't starting contracts, so he'll just do Reading and Cambridge, so he's just going to put those out there for now. All right, turn two is pick up the three, all right, so that was it. Pick up three face cards or build. So he chose to pick up three face cards. And so now it goes to phase three, move one goods token. If you had a canal to move, be able to move goods between cities, you could, but he can't do that. So he can just do that extra bonus action of taking a card off the top of the deck. So he'll just take another card. And he gets a Surveyor card, which is essentially a wild card. So in his hand, he now has one, two, three, four, five cards. Your hand limit is seven, and it's only seven at the end of the turn. So if you know, if you take a bunch of cards on your turn and you have, let's say, 11 cards in your hand, then you can look at your 11 cards and discard what you want down to seven. So that's his turn. He has these cards, and on his next turn, he'll probably complete his contract. Then it goes to the yellow player's turn. All right, so now, first thing, again, you either take a contract from Parliament, you exchange engineers, or you could just, oh, I got to re now replenish these cards here. Three, four, five, all right. He can wipe out those cards there, or he could just take one card off the top of the deck. So he's building from Stoke to Manchester, which is from here to there. All right, what other contracts are over here? Does he want to take another contract? Worcester to Birmingham. There's there, and so that would be a contract there. And Worcester to here. 
So those two would be the ones he could get. The one he has is there. Um, so that's going to have some tough terrain, but I can get him points. He also get extra points off this one by tough terrain, so he's going to take a contract. So he'll leave that one over there. Uh, something you could do if you didn't have a con contract, if you are getting new contracts and you don't have any, not counting, not counting your little junction contract, but if you don't have any regular contracts, instead of taking one contract, if there's only two left, you can take both of them to take two contracts. Or if you don't have any regular contracts and there's only one left, you can take one and then you replace it with five new ones and then you can take one more. Those are the only times you could ever take two contracts at a time. But he didn't have that option, so he has these two contracts. Next, he is to uh, either build, which he doesn't have any cards to build, or pick up uh, cards. So he's going to pick up. So if he's going Worcester, Birmingham, so he's going there to there, and he's also going uh, there to there. All right, so he'll probably need, well, he'll take the wild card, because so that'll help him. And this has two regular ones, so he'll take the two regular ones also. So there is um, his three choices. Also, your contracts, you have to keep your contracts face up for people to see. So he took a card with a yellow goods thing, so he's going to take two goods tokens and he's going to get to place them out there. Let's just say he says Chester and Lincoln. That's where he's going to place them. Those cards go into his hand. Phase three, uh, move goods. There's no way he can move goods so he can take a card blindly off the top of the deck. He does and he gets this aqueduct tile. And your cards would be kept. These build cards would be kept face down. Oh, also when you get a contract, you put one of your um, boats on whichever city you're going to start from. So from Stoke to Manchester, let's say he's going to start at Manchester. And from Worcester to Birmingham, let's say he's going to start at, I don't know, Birmingham. And so the other player at Oxford, so let's just say he starts at Oxford. And this player starts at either Coventry or Burton. And so let's just say he's going to start at Coventry. All right. Next player's turn. Uh, first things first. Take a cut. Oh, well, first things first. Refill, refill this. All right. Next, take a contract, exchange engineers, or discard the face-up stack. So he's going from uh, there to there. He's going to want to go through here. There's two aqueduct or two tunnel tiles, one aqueduct. So what he's going to do, let's see. He's going to go one, two, three. He's going to take these three tiles, or these three cart build cards. He took a white one which means he can choose any city he wants to put goods in. He just has to claim a color. So let's say he goes uh, yellow. And so he's going to put one good in the yellow city he's in. And then he'll just throw one down over here in that city there. All right. And now the final phase, he can't move goods, so he can just take a card blindly off the top. And he gets another aqueduct tile. All right, and now we replace the cards here. All right, and there's some more heavy duty ones. And now we go back to player one. So here's where player one could think about building. All right, he is going from Oxford. He's going this way. All right, so do any of the engineers help him out. All right, one is he could build, instead of, he could play a stretch card to build an aqueduct tile, so that would help him, because he doesn't have any of those. So let's just say he does that. He wants to get John uh, Brindley. And who has, he has, yellow player has the card he wants. So all he does is, for his first action, is he just switches engineers with this guy. 
All right, so now he has the engineer he wants. Next, either pick up cards or build. He's going to build. All right, so he had, you can use as many cards as you want to build. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, and he's going to spend four cards to do it. So one, two, three, four. Now, typically, since you're taking these regular cards, you would take four of these regular tiles, but because he has the special ability to build a um, one of these things instead of the regular ones, uh, he's going to take one of those. So now he just builds over there, so he'll go, let's just say he goes one, two, three, and four. All right, and so now you take your boat, and you would, if you don't complete it, you put your boat at the farthest point of your canal, but he did complete it, so he could take his boat off. So he completed the contract, so that's five points. Then, did he have any special canal buildings? He had the uh, lock, so that's an extra point, so five plus one is six points, so green is going to go up on the score track, six points. This is just kept face down over um, where you are. The only purpose it would serve now is if there's some kind of tiebreaker thing at the end that you need to do. All right, so now he has the option to move goods. There's no goods here to move, so he's just going to take a card off the top of the deck, and he gets a surveyor card. All right, so now he has two surveyor cards. Next is yellow player. Yellow player is... Got a couple options to build. Stoke to Manchester and Worcester to Birmingham. So what does he have? Is he going to be able to build? He could start on the Worcester line if he wants, but you know what? He sees that there's a bunch of like really dark colored terrain cards and he's going to be going through dark terrain. So rather than Bill, he's going to want to get the terrain cards. But before he does terrain, does he want to take a new contract? He already has two, I believe, so he can't do that. Does he want to exchange engineers? Actually, he might do that. If you take this last engineer, John Rennie, the player may pick up four Bill cards, so those cards over there, rather than three. So he's going to take that engineer. So who has John Put this guy down here. Here's the engineer one. So for his first action, he's going to swap engineers with that guy. Second action, pick up three face-up build cards. Well, he has a special ability now to get four. Um, so he's going to take... Let's see, what's he got? He's got one aqueduct, so one, two, three, four... That would let him go through the tunnel. All right, so he'll take those. Will be his four cards. And now for the fifth thing is he can either move a good, well, there's no goods to move, or take a card off the top of the build deck blindly. However, not only does this engineer let you take four build cards, it lets you take a face-up card instead of a blind one. So he's going to take this card instead. And so now how many cards does he have? He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he has nine. He has too many cards. So what's he going to do? Well, all right, he has a wild card. If he gets a, a specific engineer, he can use that engineer to use two tunnels instead of three. So let's just say he's going to get rid of one tunnel card then. So he'll get a specific engineer for that. Then he can use the wild and the aqueduct card for that. So that's four, five, six, and that leaves him with seven. All right. So he'll do that. So he'll discard those cards. All right, next players, uh, so refill this. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, next player is trying to get his area built, the red player, from there to there. Does he have enough to do it? 
He has two aqueducts to get through there, plus two. Yep, he can do it. All right, so first things first, take a contract or, well, he's going to complete this contract, so maybe he'll just go ahead and take this one now. So he's going to take this one, and then we'll get five new ones out there. All right, I'll just throw them out there because I'm not going to really get to it. Um, all right, so first thing was that. He took a contract next. He's going to build. So he has his build card. So first he's going to do a lock. So from there to there is a lock. Then he's going to use his two aqueduct cards to build an aqueduct, which will go in between there. And then he's just going to use his regular stretch card to build a stretch from there to there. Takes his boat off the board because he completed the route. So that was four points for completing that contract. Five points, an additional one point, making five for the lock, plus two points for the aqueduct, so that's four, five, six, seven points. All right, so he's going to get seven for red, so he's there. Now, for the third action, you can move a good, and he has a good to move. So he's going to move it from Covenant to Burton, and it gets a point for each city it goes through. So it started here, one point went up to this city, another point. That's two more points. That's going to take him up to nine points. And then now it would be, you know, green player's turn, and you just kind of keep doing this. And so you're going to just keep building canals. Now what's going to happen is the canals are going to start getting together, and maybe, you know, someone's trying to go from here to, you know, from here to here, and this guy might do a canal to cut them off. Now if you get cut off, you can... Um, build over their canal, but you just have to spend more cards than you normally would to get around it. Um, but anyway, that's what you do. So you're kind of using kind of like a steam, age of steam type of, you know, tiles to build your track in between different destinations. Um, but you have your ticket to ride style card draw. You have these special powers like in a steam, age of steam, but again, you don't auction them off at the beginning. At the beginning of your turn, you just pick whichever one you want to use. So it's kind of in between those two types of games. And so, again, you just go and whoever gets the most score is the winner of the game.